Welcome to Sterling Stocks. Today I'm be talking to you about ticker symbol GNUS. I'm not a financial advisor, so do what you will with this information. Be sure to like and subscribe if you have already. I really appreciate it. So today we're going to be talking about short interest. Of course, they are definitely still here. Uh, that's basically been what's going on. Some people definitely getting shook out, but shorts are still heavily here, as I'll show you. And then we'll cover the news article just a little bit today. Uh, nothing major, and then uh, a thing to look for look forward to why I think this is an excellent long-term hold so if we get into the short interest real quick 35% according to Fintel uh, 2.3 uh, million short shares available according to Fintel but if we go over here to the naked short report as of yesterday April 12th they shorted at 65% volume and they've just been in the 50s and 60s here since this uh, pretty bad market even when we've had underneath our three month average they're still trying to hammer us down under two dollars so if you take consider how much the shorts have been here we're holding up decently i know this sucks way down here uh most of us want to be at the twos or threes but uh if you're here for the long term you don't have to worry about it so shorts are definitely here don't let them manipulate you out definitely a ton of short interest so if we just look into some things uh so this was the news to announce today. Rainbow War, War, uh, Rainbow Rangers now available globally across multiple streaming and broadcast platforms. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Nickelodeon. So going to be huge. And of course, uh, our cartoon channel. So these deals are kind of new to us, of course. Uh, streaming season one starting in July 2021. So that that's going to be some new income for us, I'm sure, as everyone's kind of mad about the financials. This is still a new thing, so we're going to be seeing some more financials with uh, more and more things coming. Uh, what I want to point to is this Kizcom deal. They're the largest kids marketing and media buying agency in North America. This is why I believe this is an excellent long-term hold and why we're getting, I think we're getting in on it such a uh, ground floor level. They just made this uh, acquisition February 2nd, uh, 2021. So... This is still relatively new for the company, so we haven't even really seen what all Kizcom can do for us, and I think it's going to be huge for our marketing and stuff. This is all the other ones uh, in the uh, marketing for kids and whatnot, and we own 33% of it. That's huge, so we got a really good deal with them. That's why I think this is a, a super good long-term thing. Why I think the... Uh, market could uptrend i do have a news one that i posted last night be sure to check that out check that out it kind of goes into the fed and when they start to look are going to start looking at inflation harder uh to start tapering so some banks announced tomorrow uh some earnings if they turn out to be pretty bullish for the market we could see an uptrend i pointed out in some of my other videos uh, the last time the CPI data was released on uh, March 10th, the market started this nice little uptrend and then uh, fears ensued once again, so didn't wasn't able to continue. I think with uh, what the Fed has said about when they're going to start looking at inflation, uh, there's a good chance that we could hold this next uptrend and it's going to just take a couple days. So hopefully at the, by the end of the week, the market turns pretty bullish in my opinion. Not financial advice. Like I said, this is a good, excellent long-term hold in my opinion. Uh, this Kizcom thing is still really new and it's going to get our name out there to a bunch of different things. Other catalysts to look for is some like un unknown things about the company to get announced new acquisitions and partnerships will be huge for us and I expect more of those to come. So yeah, and another thing just kind of in uh, speculation mode, uh, I've seen other information on this the possibilities of NFTs, they've said that they want to be safe and kind of slow with it and they're not going to rush it. So we'll just uh say maybe their first nft would be a stan lee one and his birthday would be uh in 2022 so expect that that could be our first uh nft and they did say that they'll be cautious so maybe further down the line but i think the the streaming app is going to go good they got other products as well so yeah do with that what you will be sure to like and subscribe i'll stay pretty up to date on this gnus i won't post short numbers every day because you just kind of look at it and see if like oh yep they're still here so uh that's how you kind of got to take into effect don't let them uh shake you out this is a long-term hold in my opinion anyways uh i'll see y'all next time thanks for watching